What would you do with a billion dollars? That's the question we had to ask when we found ourselves outside of a gas station considering playing the lottery for the first time. Every day, our life on the road as expedited truck drivers is truly an adventure. This time, we're also letting an artificial intelligent language model guide us through the vibrant streets of Cincinnati. From mouthwatering eats to, well, there's one popular dish here that we just couldn't bring ourselves to try. Let's get it. All right, let's talk about the aftermath of our previous load. It really shook things up back here, rearranging our entire box. Now, it's time to roll up my sleeves and reorganize so we're set for the next load. Staying organized isn't just about neatness. It's crucial for making sure we can load and unload efficiently, keeping everything flowing smoothly on the road. And here's another pro tip, especially for my fellow short truckers out there. Never underestimate the power of a good step stool. It's an absolute lifesaver. Whether you're reaching for supplies or just trying to get a better look at how your cargo's holding up, a step stool can give you that extra boost you need. It's one of those small tools that make a big difference, ensuring you're always prepared, no matter what the job throws your way. So let's get the box sorted and ready to roll. decided to get back into the truck to showcase the high field trucking fleet on our channel, I had a clear goal in mind. I wanted to reach out to couples who were tired of the same old routine, looking for a way to make more money, and had a desire to travel. Surprisingly, lots of people are familiar with truck driving, but not so much with straight truck expediting. Picture driving in these beautiful 40 foot straight trucks similar to RVs and getting paid to do it. All you need is a reliable partner and a Class B CDL. If this lifestyle intrigues you and you want to learn more about the high field trucking fleet, just hit the link in our description. What is up, beautiful people? Welcome to another day on the Nick and Carla channel where we are parked at a safe haven outside of Cincinnati, Ohio. We got us a rental car and we are preparing to hang out for a little bit. Can I find that? Using ChatGPT, y'all. I love ChatGPT for. Skyline Chili is highly recommended for trying Cincinnati's iconic chili over a hot dog. It's a beloved local chain known for perfecting the recipe and offering a unique taste that's become a staple of Cincinnati cuisine. She said Whether something about chili, chili over spaghetti. Or a more traditional version, Skyline Chili is the place to go. Okay, thank you and goodbye. Why are y'all eating chili over spaghetti? I'm trying to understand it. I know Sierra did tell me, um, is this girl that's here that she um, visited, and that's something that she grew up on. So Cincinnati Chili is a culinary delight that holds a special place in the heart of its city. Stemming from a story as rich as its flavor, according to food historian Dan Wollert, the dish was invented in 1920 by Tom and John Karajif, Macedonian immigrants who settled in Cincinnati. They transformed a Mediterranean stew seasoned with cloves, nutmeg, and cinnamon into a new American classic by serving it over spaghetti. This innovation was tailored to local taste and initially paired with hot dogs, but it was the addition of spaghetti that truly set it apart, creating what is now known locally as two-way chili. The dish evolved with customer preferences, leading to the addition of cheese, onions, and beans, creating variations up to the beloved five-way. Just, just give me mine over hot dog. I'm used to that. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> ChatGPT4, man. 
I love that she can talk too, man. It sounds so natural, like I'm talking to a person. And speaking of artificial intelligence, if you like mind-bending sci-fi thrillers, check out my new audiobook, IT. Follow Kendall's suspenseful journey as she develops a humanoid robot that blurs the line between human and machine. Available now at freaksaudiobooks.com. Occasionally, what we will do when we want to explore a town and not do it in a 35,000-pound monster truck is rent a car. And today, we're riding in a 2022 Toyota Camry. I asked Carla if she wanted to get a Tesla this go round. Y'all, I think Carla is tesla out. <laughs> Why you ain't want a Tesla this time? Because I ain't got time to be running around looking for no damn charger. Trying to charge their car up while I get back to them. <laughs> No thank you. But this was this is a nice little vehicle too. Yes. Mm-mm. You got that little opening at the top like Tesla had, but it's okay. It's okay. Who needs that? I know, right? Who needs that? got a charge. Who needs that? So I can be comfortable with my all right, y'all. So everything interesting in this area is closed today for whatever reason. Today is a Tuesday. Uh, so we're actually going to head to this place here, uh, Jungle Gym. Oh, is this where I'm supposed to turn? Shit, I missed my turn. It's like the only interesting thing that's open right now. the backbone of America. They get it. Who don't get it, babe? Everybody else don't. Walmart don't. Some Walmarts do. It's the people that try to... Because I still feel like truck drivers are essential workers. And I remember when everything happened um, with the virus, you know, they were saying, no truck drivers are not essential worker but if these tires weren't going around y'all business couldn't have kept going oh, wait a, minute. Where is it? a recommendation from chat gpt's list was jungle gems international market which is another cincinnati gym that's anything but your typical grocery store this 200,000 square foot space isn't just huge it's a feast for the senses designed to transform every shopping trip into an adventure the lottery uh carla's sister said the lottery worth a billion dollars and they uh want to play it so hey why not even if i got a little piece of that that'll be cool a little piece of the billion she's talking do i need to cash up you some money is she is she trying to say if y'all win then (laughs) that means i should be able to get some too (laughs) boy if i still had nikki this will be the spot right here. Everywhere you look, there's something to catch your eye. From race cars perched high above to quirky, whimsical displays that pop up around every corner. Here, the founder, Jungle Jim Bonamino, realized his vision of merging food with fun, creating a place where culinary dreams meet playful surprises. You can pick up sushi, sample international candies, or marvel at the vast selection of cheeses and exotic fruits. And let's not forget the famous wall of hot sauces that draws heat seekers from all around. Jungle Gems is where the world's flavors come together under one roof, inviting you to explore, taste, and enjoy. So the last time we came to Jungle Gems, one thing I really liked were the freeze-dried candy. I would always see the freeze-dried candy on TikTok, but I never wanted to try it because I saw people making it in their homes with their hands. Even though they try to have little gloves on, I still didn't trust it. And I'm hoping maybe the candy at Jungle Gems is a bit more um, monitored where people are not just making it in their homes, but um, hopefully they got some here. So here's one of them, but is this the Skittles? These are uh, watermelon rings, the sour worms. All 
right, y'all. So we were gonna just try to do a thing, you know, get out, try some different stuff, but everything is closed, like we said. But um, we decided to just go somewhere that's close by. So we're gonna check out this Asian restaurant, get like some fried rice, some like that, maybe some egg rolls, and um, uh, just just stay close. Uh, they had really good reviews. They had about 382 people reviewed and said, uh, you know, the food is good, so. I'm honestly baffled as to why this spot was so empty because the food was bussing. We stumbled upon this gym that's dishing out a fusion of Nepali, Chinese, and Indian flavors, all freshly cooked right after you order. Seriously, don't sleep on this place. It is a uh, first steamed, then deep fried, served with organic tomato chutney. What's okay, that? I don't know. It's something different though. Um, y'all, we also have a trip. I told y'all we got a trip that's coming up, and we're doing the countdown. So, it's no telling what type of different dishes we're gonna try. We're leaving the country again, so I'm excited about that. Hey, this is truck. Um, I was actually calling, yeah, I was actually calling to put me and Carla out of service until tomorrow at 5 a.m. Yeah. All right, so I put us out of service, but I wanted to say this too. I read their reviews, and one of the reviews, the person said it was so quiet in the restaurant, it was almost uncomfortable because they could, felt like everybody could hear their conversation. Hold up, allow me to block out this intense music with sound isolation, which is actually the point I'm about to bring up. And. The person responded. Carla said he dig it up. Carla responded. And uh, I mean, no, they responded and said that they were going to try to add music. So I like that they did that and they listened to their customer. But this music is too intense for the environment. And I'm trying to think if I want to suggest that. Like, the music is cool, but it feel like I'm going on an adventure and I just want to chill. I wonder if they... Um, it may not be as bad if they turn it down, but the music is just too intense for the moment. So, and and I get it. So, I don't like know. Yeah, like I'm about, I'm just trying to eat. That's <laughs> some momos and some rice. <laughs> it like it's time to slay the dragon. <laughs> oh, they switching up. Oh, we got more music. Oh no, this is too much music now. They said, oh, they ain't gonna complain about music no more. <laughs> All right, guys. So he took our order, and um, I did explain the thing about the music. Um, he turned that down, but I told him this Nepali music that he got playing over here. It's a vibe. It's nice. It's like relaxed, and it you know make me feel like I'm experiencing some of their culture. Yeah. But Carla, she was like, yeah, I feel like I'm about to slay a dragon or something. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like so far, he's still really cool, and um, and uh, the food. I'm expecting the food to be good. They said the food is good. The dish that really grabbed our attention was their long grain basmati rice, fried up with chopped onions, cilantro, mint, and tossed with crispy shrimp and a splash of soy sauce. And it was our first encounter with chicken momos, a type of dumpling. We opted to have ours first steamed then deep fried and served with organic tomato chutney, a staple condiment from the Indian subcontinent. Ready? Handy dandy umbrella. You don't want none? Yeah. I'll take a little bit. Not the wind is trying to blow. Uh-uh. Thought you would have blown this little umbrella. <laughs> He's trying to take his umbrella, girl. <laughs> 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 
All right, y'all. So, um, Carla's sister, like I said earlier in Jungle Gems, Carla's sister hit her up and she said, she was like, Are y'all, what'd she say? Y'all playing? She said, This is what she said. I want to say she was like, I hope y'all playing the lottery. Like in other words. So she said, Hey, sister, I hope y'all purchasing lottery tickets! Exclamation. She said, Do I need to cash app you a few dollars? And then she put the emoji with the dollar sign. So, me personally, I've never played the lottery. Well, if I have, I don't remember it. I played it one time, and even when I played it, I didn't know what I was doing. That's what I'm saying. And I think I did scratch offs before and i didn't know what i was doing so i had to google like how to play the lottery what is this the mega or whatever i told her i said no i said what's happening she said the lotto is worth a billion and she put three dollar signs and then i said what do we have to do and she said go to any gas station and buy some lotto tickets the mega is worth 40 million so we said okay um it's not really nothing we do because I, you know, I watched my aunt play the lottery and go to the casino <laughs> all her life in St. Louis. And, you know, matter of fact, a few, both of my aunts, even the other one, they'll win a little bit, lose a little bit. And I was just like, you know, yeah. But hey, I guess we'll give it a try. Go and put in a few numbers. When say, you researched it, it said the ticket was. Did you say two dollars? It said you got to put in, I think, six or seven numbers between one, the numbers one and seventy, and then, uh, and if you, and if all six of your numbers win, then you win, I guess, a portion of the money. It depends on how many people win the, uh, the numbers or whatever. Mm -hmm. How many people choose the right numbers? We'll try it. Uh, so that's what we about to do. <laughs> So, but any of y'all playing the lotto, and I just want to know, do any of you all have, like, how do y'all go by picking y'all numbers? Are these just numbers that's, you know, been part of you for all of your life? Or, like, how do y'all go by picking numbers? Do you randomly just select numbers? What do y'all do? But another thing, too, I saw is if you didn't want to randomly, like, choose your own numbers, you can uh, choose, let them choose numbers for you. Like I bet random, you can. A random set of numbers for uh, you. A random set of losing <laughs> numbers. <laughs> Caught in the moment of spontaneity, we found ourselves parked outside a gas station, scrolling through our phones, trying to figure out how to play the lottery. Despite our best efforts at a quick Google crash course, we walked in still baffled by the whole process. Luckily, the guy at the register was patient as we fumbled through our first lottery experience, even though he couldn't offer much help. Guys, when I tell you I barely knew what was going on up in there, I still don't even know what was going on in there. Uh, when he was trying to explain, like, how to play and what you supposed to do. So I guess now um, I'm supposed to, because today is Tuesday, call this number to see if any of my numbers won so i guess i'm gonna do that and see what happens guys if we have so happened to win a million trillion billion dollars i ain't telling y'all <laughs> but if we start moving different that means we won <laughs> yeah, cause no because if i start time. wearing big fur coats and all that Girl, then that means <laughs> <laughs> 